A president has to have immunity. Former President Donald Trump argued he's immune from criminal prosecution after a hearing on Tuesday in his federal election subversion case. But a Washington appeals court questioned that claim as Trump faces a trial in March on charges related to attempts to overturn his 2020 election loss. Trump was in the courtroom as his legal team tried to convince a panel of three judges that former presidents should not be prosecuted for actions they took in office. His legal team insisted a former president could be charged for such conduct only if they were first impeached by the House of Representatives and convicted in the Senate. Here's Judge Florence Pan engaging with Trump lawyer D. John Sauer on this point. Could a president who ordered SEAL Team 6 to assassinate a political rival who was not impeached, would he be subject to criminal prosecution? If he were impeached and convicted first. I did nothing wrong, absolutely nothing wrong. Trump said after the hearing that he did not break the law. With the Republican state-by-state presidential nominating contest due to kick off next week, Trump, who leads his party rivals by a wide margin, claimed he is a victim of political persecution. I think it's very unfair when a opponent, a political opponent, is prosecuted by the DOJ, by Biden's DOJ. In a video posted to social media ahead of the hearing, Trump said he could prosecute Democratic President Joe Biden if he wins the November presidential election. Federal prosecutors argue that Trump was acting as a candidate, not a president, when he pressured officials to overturn the election results and encouraged his supporters to march to the Capitol on January 6, 2021. Justice Department lawyer James Perch told the judges in this hearing that granting Trump immunity from those actions would give future presidents license to commit crimes. Both the legal outcome and timing of the appeals court's ruling will play a pivotal role in determining whether Trump faces trial ahead of the November election. Any ruling from the appeals court is almost certain to be appealed to the U.S. Supreme Court, which last month denied a request from special counsel Jack Smith, who is overseeing the federal prosecution of Trump, to immediately decide the issue.